Hey guys, it's Jason here. Today I'm doing just a quick follow-up video to my previous video, which was talking about the Bitcoin client, and in more detail talking about the differences between the Bitcoin client and having a digital wallet, which would be a cloud-based, you know, like my Bitcoin. So, the question was brought up in the comment selection about the security of having a Bitcoin client on your computer, and in more detail, running that client 24-7. So basically what the question asked, and I'll put the question somewhere around here, was about the differences of keeping it running, you know, all the time, versus just running it maybe a couple of minutes to have an update, you know, and see if you got any new transactions, and then close it back down. Well, like many of you I assume know, and if not, I'll inform you, Bitcoin is a P2P software, which means person to person. It runs just like a torrenting system. So the more clients, which are peers, are in the network, the faster you can download a blockchain. So because of this reason, I have a hard time telling people not to keep their client up 24-7. Because I feel like the, the more clients we have, the more nodes, as they're called, help the network and help grow Bitcoin. Because it helps the new users and just normal people download their um, update, you know, download their blockchain faster. And, you know, it, it really makes the whole atmosphere of Bitcoin a lot nicer because we have a lot more time, you know, shortage. We don't have to wait an hour a day, like I told in the last video, waiting multiple days just to download the blockchain. So then the question is, is it secure? Let me answer that question by answering this question, which I don't, I don't mean to sound like a politician, you know, change up my words, but I, I just want to bring it into this question. Is, is it safer than a digital wallet? Most people say no. Yeah, you know, there's those that say yeah there are certain systems that are, but I have yet to see a very precise one that I can honestly give my opinion, which I I hold a lot of weight with that type of stuff to say that you know digital wall is better than client. I personally believe, and I, with that is with all the information I have presented to me, which I have read up on this countless hours, is that the Bitcoin client is safer. So then the question is, should you run it twenty four seven or not? Well. I'm going to answer that by saying this, which I'm doing a lot of those. If you have 10,000 Bitcoins or above, or any you know, large portion of Bitcoins, don't run your client 24-7. You know, it would be very easy for someone to look on blockchain, say, hey, look, this address is receiving a lot of, you know, a lot of requests, a lot of you know, transactions, and then to link that to your node and to your IP address. And then through some very complicated systems, I would assume, be able to hack into your um, wallet.bat file. The question is though, the average user probably isn't going to have more than 100 bitcoins in their client. So the answer to the original question, no, I do not think there's a, there is a security risk with having it run 24-7. I don't think that there is a security threat. I think the bugs have been fixed. I think if one presents itself, it will be quick, fixed very quickly. Um, but just like anything, you don't put all your eggs in one basket. You know, just as this, I don't have all my money in Bitcoin, I have it spread between your know, CDs and all this other stuff. You don't put all your Bitcoins on your wallet. You know, you, you reinvest it in mining bonds, in shares, in companies, you know, in buying things. You know, so that way that your money isn't all in your client, which it would kind of be like having all your money in a bank. Um, back in the 1800s out in the West, where if um, cowboys decided to come running through and rob the bank, it's not insured and you're out your money. So Bitcoin is kind of in its um, Western times when someone could rob the bank and take all your money. But the chances are, I mean, if you're going to use Bitcoin, you have to have some way to you know, send transactions or anything. Um, I mean, I have read on the on client, you know, not on the client, but on the on forums, people talk about how they store it on a laptop they never use, and then they only open the laptop up, you know, when they need the, you know, they need to send a transaction. Well, that is helping you out. It's not helping the community out, and I feel like that, in a way, is hurting Bitcoin in its own, you know, foundation. We have all these people that say, oh, well, I support Bitcoin because, you know, it's a decentralized currency. It's something that's new. It um, allows everyone to work together. There's no guy telling me what to do. But then in the same sentence, they're like, well, no, I'm not going to run my Bitcoin client. Are you kind of hurting the, the atmosphere of Bitcoin? You're making it harder for other users to download the blockchain. So in my final answer, do I think it poses a security risk? No, I do not. Final answer, very simply. But I do think there is merit to the security questions. 
just like anything. You know, is it possible that some guy could hack into the New York Stock Exchange and sell off everybody's shares? It's possible. I mean, there's way to, the ways there's to find out who did it. With Bitcoin, there's a little bit more, um, you know, secrecy to who did it. But I, I don't see it being that big a security risk. But I think it's a great question, and it, it really pondered, you know, my intelligence for a second. Maybe question and try to fully think out how I would answer respond. But that's my final say. The Bitcoin client is safe, and it's safe to run 24-7. So, thanks for watching.